Good morning, people. Welcome back to class. We are having mathematics this morning, and our topic is open sentence. It's a new re it's a it's a new topic entirely, a new topic. Our and our topic is open sentence. So we'll be looking at some examples immediately. He said examples. Find the value of the letter in each of the following. Find the value of the letter in each of the following. Find the value of the letter in each of the following. Number one said, A said, 4X is equal to 28. B said, 6Y is equal to 19. C said, 3N is equal to 6. Now, let's go to solution immediately. 4X is equal to 28. But we have to look at the relationship between 4X, 4X. Now, 4X, the relationship between them is 4 times x. And if you look here in our mathematical symbols and mathematical mathematical rules, we are told that when times is moving to the other side, it will give us division. And when plus moving to the other side, it will give us sub, uh, uh, minus. So now we have what? 4x is equal to 28. What are we going to do to the times between them? Is that going to be what? We are going to divide. We say divide both sides by 4. I go again, we say divide both sides by 4. By saying 4x divided by 4 is equal to 28 divided by 4. 4 we eliminate 4 here. And I are going to have 4 year 1, 28 divided by 4 will give me 7. How did I get that? Because if I say 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 3 is 12, 4 times 4 is 16, 4 times 5 is 20, and 4 times 6 is 24, and 4 times 7 is 28. That means 7 is our answer. We move to the B aspect. 6, Y equal to 19. What is the relationship between 6 and Y? is 6, 6 times Y. So the same thing we did for example 1 is the same thing we are going to do here by saying divide both sides by 6. We are going to have 6, Y divided by 6 is equal to 19 over 6. 6 eliminate 6. We are going to have equal to 6 here 1. Now 6 divided by 19 is not possible, but we can divide it. We are going to have 3 times 6 times 1 is 6, 6 times 2 is 12, 6 times 3 is 18. We cannot say 6 times 4 because it's 24. So we have 3 and it will remain 1. That is why 6 divided by 19 is 3 whole number, 1 over 16. Then let's move to the last example, which is example C. It said what? 3n divided, uh, 3n, 3 over 2n is equal to 6. I go again. 3 over 2n is equal to 6. So we correct the n to one part. We are going to have 3n divided by 2 is equal to 6. 3n divided by 2 is equal to 6. Now, the first thing I'm going to do what is to do what? Cross multiply. What do I call it? Cross multiply. What do I call it? Cross multiply. I'm not going to have 3n divided by 2 is equal to 6 over 1. Why did I put that one? Because there's nothing under that 6. I will know that 6 divided by 1 will give us 6. So this is the sign of our clause multiply. Multiplying everything here with what is here and multiplying everything here with what is here. So we are one going to have 3 times 3n times 1 is going to give me 3n. 2 times 6 is going to give me 12. And now after having this, I move to the other side by doing what I say. Divide both sides by 3n. I will say divide both sides by 3n. That brings me back to my division. I'm going to have 3n divided by 3 equal to 12 divided by 3. I'm going to do what? Just eliminate this to 3 and I will have n. And when I come here and say 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 2 is 6 and 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 4 is 12. So definitely 12 divided by 3 will give me 4. And that brings us to the end of this section of our mathematics class, which the topic is open sentence. And that will take me, I will take you to your assignment. Please and please make sure you watch this video to the end. I will take you to the assignment. What is in our assignment board? We are told that find the value of the following. I go again, find the, va find the value of the following. By saying 5z equal to 30, 
number B, two c is divided by c is divided by two m is equal to eight eighteen number three four k equal to hundred number five five divided by two r equal to ten number four four over five x equal to forty number six sixteen x equal to eighty number seven eight b equal to thirty two I go again. Number one, five seven.